I'm Vignesh and this is V. Uh, we are from the Lendrite protocol. Uh, we've been working on DeFi now for three years and uh, we've published various papers over uh, last couple of years on how, uh, like how to approach DeFi, crypto lending and, and different, uh, uh, different formats to, to see how we can make this more uh, reliable stable and and today if you look at the DeFi land space itself right so it's it's not very stable it's uh, there is a lot of ad hoc liquidation happening and i i don't know how much of you know about the pray for 3228 meme um it was it was something that happened uh, a year ago and actually we we made a video on uh, how it would have felt to be that person right I'll just play this video and uh, we'll continue uh, this is this is something uh, this is an imaginary piece right like with various things that happen in DeFi and things that happen to my friends also so we'll just watch the decentralized this. World Wide Web is hundreds or thousands of decentralized protocols uh, some of them will be like Ethereum and Ethereum has is or its orders of magnitude bigger than anything else and it's growing faster than everything else so it will be significant going forward a survivor in other words oh absolutely yeah. um, Hey baby, Bailey missed you so much, Bailey. Say hi, Daddy. Not now, Lil. I'm busy. What do you want? You want to try that again? Without biting my head off? Either. It could touch 100 by today and I could lose everything. We could lose the house. We could lose everything. But don't worry. It can't go below 100. One sec. I'll, I'll call you right back. <laughs> Risk free interest for life. <laughs> for life. <laughs> Nobody told me you could lose money on the wall. Nobody told me. Thank you. So this one is, is just an imaginary video, right? But this, this is a combination of, of, of stories of a lot of people who's, who, who use DeFi today. Um, like you borrow and you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And usually that's, that's not the case in the real world, right? Like you, you, you can have a term loan and, and you, can, you can sleep well at night. And that's, that's what we are going to reimagine with Lendrite this time. So uh, we'll talk about how, how we are designing this protocol so that it, it can handle these kind of uh, like jerks in the price of the underlying collateral.
So how do we solve this? Uh, we need to enable transparent, more transparent risk transfers. Today, if you go on one of the decentralized uh, lending protocols, you'd be like, oh, I can earn an interest of 7%. But are you earning a risk-free interest? You're, that's not true. Like, you're also risking the, the fact that there could be a black swan even tomorrow, and the, it, the loss could be passed on to the lenders. And this is not being transparently advertised to people either. So that's one thing. And we need to introduce strict loan cycles so that the liabilities of the loans can be solved within every, every loan cycle and it does not carry on to the whole system. Um, and we achieve this by tokenizing so that we can create secondary markets around them so that we can, we can bring in and converge liquidity around certain strike prices, certain, certain terms. So we are, how are we doing this? We are, we are introducing a new uh, token standard. It's called, we're calling it the multi-fungible token or, or an MFT. So today, there is, there is the, uh, we have a, a fungible token, which is a ERC-20, and, and a ERC-721, which is a non-fungible token. So imagine uh, a non-fungible token to have various parameters that, that are different all across, right? So if there are two non-fungible tokens that share all the parameters, then they become fungible. And today, we don't have a specific token standard where we can do that. So this, this is important. And this can be used in use cases like financial derivatives. So if we take financial derivatives and, and, and like a, something like a put option. Um, the put option has the same, same payoff formula across the board. But depending on its parameter, like the strike price, the underlying price, the, the term, it's going to be fungible or non-fungible. And with the introduction of the MFTs, What's happening here is we, we, get, to, uh, we get to just uh, deploy one token contract while we allow any kind of, say, a put option under, un, un, under each collateral so that it can support different kind of loans, different kind of collateral ratios for each loan. So we will we'll take a look at the... Uh, we, we build the whole uh, protocol based on these tokens, and we have a short demo, so... Uh, I will explain through the demo so that we can take a glimpse of how how these tokens work together to create these loans. So uh, what you're seeing here is we are creating two accounts. One of the accounts is going to function as the underwriter account, and the other one is going to function as the borrower account. Uh, what we are trying to demonstrate here is that the underwriter can create these MFTs and transfer them to the to the borrower, uh, and so the borrower can use them as a combination in order to uh, create a new loan. So uh, we start with the underwriter. Yeah, sure. So we'll start with the underwriter uh, right now. Uh, like we are taking the die and wrapping it so that it can be accessed by the system. And then once we do that, uh, we are able to. Split this die. Sorry. Oh, yeah, you're wrapping it now. Still wrapping, sorry. So we've wrapped the die now, so and, and right now we are going to split this die on a, on a specific uh, 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 a price feed and, and a specific graph. So you can choose how much die you want to split. And then you choose the uh, underlying asset. Uh, in this case, it's just going to be ETH. And you also say, what, the, what is the strike price that's going to be there? So this, this way, you, wh what you're trying to create here is that the un underwriter is going to underwrite a loan uh, where if the pr price of the collateral is going to go down below $100, the underwriter starts paying out uh, to compensate for the, for the loss in the price of the collateral. And this is going to exist uh, until, you can also choose the term or how long this contract is going to be live, right? So in this case, we are choosing 26th of March, 2020. Q. So once you do that, you would see that the balances are going to change. Um, 
Yeah. So if you see the balances on the Sufi tokens, they are going to reflect uh, that there are S tokens in the system now and also I token. And then you can go ahead as a borrower. So as the borrower now, so this is the underwriter part, right? So the other side is the borrower. So as the borrower, uh, there is an interesting uh, idea here. So because these are all fixed terms, aren't for the length of the loan, you're going to lock up your collateral. So what you're going to do first is that you can split your collateral, you can split your collateral uh, into an F and an I token, uh, where the F token functions like a futures token or a frozen token, and an I token functions as an interest token. So since you are not going to be accessing as a borrower uh, the collateral for the period of the loan, uh, you are able to actually have a freely tradable I token which you can further sell it to other people who'd, who'd want, like, who have the option to use the iToken to get a loan or, which, which would be an ETH loan instead of a DAI loan. So, so you would see that the balances of the borrower has been updated, right? So now what's, what, what we are going to do is, uh, because we don't have a market running yet, we are going to let the underwriter transfer his S tokens and I tokens to the, to the borrower. Now, usually this is going to happen for a price, but we are skipping that part. And so the, the underwriter uh, is just sending his tokens across to the borrower. Cool. So he sent the S tokens, right? I token, okay. And he's going to send the S tokens now. So you can go back on the borrower. Okay. So the borrower now, if if you take take a look at the account, you can see that it's updated with the S tokens, the I tokens, and also the W. So let's go ahead and 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 try to take a loan now. Yeah. Right? That we need to enable the market. We need to just set the market. Okay. Up. Okay. Okay, so it's we're creating a pool on the background, but uh, we don't want to go into the details right now because, again, this already it's complex enough. I guess I'll just keep it simple. So. Okay, well. so now uh, the borrower uh, goes to the borrower screen. I'll change the account. Okay. Go to the borrow screen. And with all these complexity, right? Just a minute. So with all this complexity, even though it looks like, oh, what's happening with the S token? What's what's happening with the I token? For, for an end user, the end borrower, it's going to be quite simple. He's going to choose the loan currency, the term of the loan, and he's going to choose what his underlying collateral is going to be, right? And what how, what is the amount of loan he's requiring to access? And you can change. It's like 200, yeah. And then click on the loan. And cool, that's it, right? Okay. So, yeah, so that's it. So, at this point, the borrower now has a new loan, and he does not have to worry about it until the end of the term, that's going to be 26th of March. So by, by using these new token economics, uh, we, 
we've achieved something where you got fixed interest rates and and fixed terms and this is this can get complex so uh, we are going to stop the demo here and go back to the slides huh? cool so what is wh what all this means is that now the cost of the loan right now is based on the loan currency. So if you want to die loan today, you pay a flat fee of like 7% or 10% or whatever, right? But actually, like depending on the collateral, uh, the, the amount of collateral you can place and, and, and the type of collateral you can place, by in this model, the cost of the loan is going to vary. So that, that's more like what's in the real world and loan maintenance. So you don't have to worry about your loan until the end of the term so you can you can go on and and you can go on sleep well come back have an alarm probably and and just make sure that you repay the loan before the end of the term and what are the other opportunities so today you you in in defy you can participate as a lender and and you're going to put your capital into a into a pool where pe people can use it to borrow but in this case you can be a borrower but you can also be an underwriter where you enable these loans. So, for example, you can you can create a S token, which is which which is a put option on Ethereum, and for a strike, for example, fifty dollars for for thirty first of March, and sell it for a dollar, right? So, depending on your risk appetite, all these new kinds of tokens now are possible. So that's going to create a lot more of business opportunities and decisioning. So. We want to move away from governance uh, in, in adding new collateral, in adding new terms or, or whatever. And we are letting the market dynamic. So and because anyone can create these tokens, um, wherever the liquidity is going to assemble is what is going to be the, the markets that, that are being supported. So as, as, as a loan market and, and as a protocol, there are no prescriptions on what collateral is being supported or what terms are being supported. Everything is market driven. So, um, because of the way this protocol is defined, it's, uh, it has these beautiful things, these money blocks, right? Like Legos that, that come together and, and fall in place in order to create this product, which is lending. But you could also take this up and, and do various other things. So, we are looking for people who can actually make uh, um, make markets around it. We, who who can who can build their own uh, businesses around it? You can run your own risk pools. You can you can run run your own UI. And you, there are a lot of opportunities just using those tokens that you can build on. Uh, so come talk to us. We have a booth in the in the in the in the floor above. Uh, we are also looking for feedback on on the model itself. So if if you are going to come to the booth, we will we'll, we'll also like if you have an email ID, you can leave it with us so that we'll send you the uh, information and it'll be nice to hear from you. And a big shout out to Quanstam and, and we primarily work with the uh, Viper code devs, uh, Bryant and Jackus. And we also use uh, Eth Brownie, uh, uh, Ben, Ho ben, Hauser. ben Hauser is, is the person who, who, who actually maintains that. So the, these are the tools without which we, we could not do what we are doing today. And uh, if you go on developers.lendrite.com, you could download the UI, the same UI you saw here, and you can, you can try it out. I know it's a little complex, but it's just, like, it's, it's just getting started. So I, we would really appreciate uh, the thoughts you have. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot.